Starting recording and uh, testing. Um, greetings, citations, hola, and hoi hoi. This is the psychotic, and um, yeah, it is WrestleMania weekend. And so far, the festivities seem to have started this um, yesterday on Thursday, the um, 4th of April, with um, WWE Access. Axis? Axis. I think it's Axis, yeah. Um, yesterday I was watching on the YouTube Up Up Down Down channel, Xavier Woods' um, channel, and they were doing a tournament, well, a championship tournament um, for the title of Up Up Down Down. Um, their belt, the custom belt, it looks freaking cool. I love Because they had like the 8 bit, um, the, the logo with all 8 bit right there. <clears throat> Yeah, the participants of the bar, um, Cesaro, Sheamus, and then the Usos were in there. Samoa Joe, the phenomenal AJ Styles was there. Uh, who else? Oh, yeah, of course, uh, Kofi was in there. And um, one of the other guys that was not a, that isn't a wrestler on there, um, that actually became the champion, their first one, too. Um, Mikazi, a.k.a. Mr. Castle. He is their WWE's costume designer. And, yeah, he ended up taking it all at the end. Even though there was a surprise um, a surprise entry at the end by The Miz, he showed up and <laughs> it, it, it looked like he was... Um, yeah, I could have sworn there was somebody else, though. I just gotta remember something. Hold on a second. I'm I'm trying to think. Okay, what was those? Sheamus, Cesaro. They're in the background. No, I think that was everybody. But yeah, so the Miz shows up. It was, and they basically the last game was, I believe, between the Miz and and Mikazi. Oh, Mr. Kaz. I'll just say, I, I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. Anyways, um, his the, his name, but Mr. Kaz. I'll just say. Um, they end up pay playing um, some weird <laughs> Puyo Puyo um, Tetris game at the end on their on the channel was going on live and everything. I just entertained it. it was very it was very very funny. But at the end, yeah, Miz got wrecked by, by Mr. Castle, and so the title stays with him until I don't know whenever they decide to challenge again. So that happened yesterday. That was for rest for the WrestleMania weekend. Then earlier um, today is supposed to be uh, probably happening right now, or already passed depending on when to, when I actually upload this video. It's um, NXT Takeover New York, and before that there was like a show um, involving let's see WWE Two K Nineteen Million Dollar challenge, challenge Final, and it was between AJ Styles. Um, versus this guy, this, I, I, I guess he wa he wanted to play the heel because, and I don't know his, the history on this dude. I just know his name is Golden Voice. Um, he made it to the challenge at the very, at the end. And truth be told, the dude's a douche. I don't, I don't know if he was really trying to play the heel role or what, but he really came off very douchey. And to the point where even the guys that tell it um, were kind of like the 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 um, was it Corey Xavier? I think even AJ seemed I don't know if they were bothered by it or or what or they just kind of thought it was kind of just funny how it was just kind of ad libbing. But yeah, that dude was ridiculous, and I'm not even sure what was going on between the match between these two <clears throat> because AJ was AJ for the for the the game in the game to challenge Golden Voice who Golden Voice chose Brock Lesnar. There was a lot of there was a lot of shit talk basically. Um mostly by Golden Voice. And when AJ was playing him, I think AJ only was able to he only was really able to do like probably two moves at best against him. But it just seemed like he his controller wasn't working or he wasn't playing at the the way that I guess prior to all this AJ was known to be able to play this game really well. So it was just very out of out of character, or or just something very just really weird. <laughs> Much like yesterday's uh, matchup too of the above down down championships uh, finals, because 
they were going he was playing um i think um wcw versus nwo um revenge or something and i guess the controls because it's not you know n64 controllers are much different from the playstation controls and even if the configuration was a certain way it didn't seem like it so he got really pissed off yesterday about that one it was just like crazy so yeah the golden voice ended up winning Playing off the heel really well, and got cut, and they cut off that segment at the very end because it just kept going on and on. And everybody just like, is my like, yeah, let's just give them the check right here. Yep, that's done. I'll probably check up the NXT takeover later on to see what what's going on with the results on that one. I think there's like four matches. Um, the one I'm really interested in would, would be um, I think with Shirai, um, Bianca Belair, um. Freaking, um, who else is it? Um, who's the pirate princess? Um, Kari, Kari, Sane, Kari, 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 Sane, Kari, Sane, Sane. And, um, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot the name of the champion. <laughs> wow, I, I really can't believe I forgot the name of the champion. Oh, Shaylin Baszler, yeah, duh. Okay, yeah, she's the champion. So that fatal four way should be good. Um, what was the other card? I got, I should probably have this ready. NXT TakeOver. Thank you, Google. Let's look at the card for this. So the card is, okay. So yeah, for sure I know the Fatal 4-Way for sure. Um, there's a, the, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh yeah, of course, yeah, Johnny Gargano versus um, Adam Cole. That one, Personally, I would love to see Johnny Gargano win it just because he's been in NXT for a while and he's really been having like a great momentum and his character's gimmicks really well. Adam Cole, um, I like Adam Cole, baby. Um, Adam Cole, baby. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Undisputed Era. So, person, I don't know. I, I, I it could go either way, really, to be honest. Now, that's a great match. I gotta, I'm gonna be checking that out later. Um, the Fatal Four Way with him. And, oh yeah, NXT North American Championship Velveteen Dream versus Matt Riddle. I don't see. I honestly don't see the hype with Matt Riddle at all. I just don't really care for him. So I'm, I'm rooting for Velveteen to win this one. Then there's the uh, War Raiders versus Ricochet and Alistair Black. Um, the NXT Tag Team Championships. That one I'm sure is going to be really good considering like, the teams involved with this. Like it's going to be basically power and some slight speed versus like speed and technique. So either one's going to be really good. I think the um, Pete Dunn versus Walter was just like a last minute brought in. I'm not sure, but that's from what I understand. Pete Dunn dude's a dude's a freaking heavy hitter, the bruiser weight. So yeah, this should be very interesting to see as well. Well, that's that's tonight. That's uh, NXT Takeover, but WrestleMania. That one is Sunday. That one I'm looking forward to big time, because the main event is historic. It's the Raw. Well, not even Raw. It's now it's both SmackDown and Raw. The champ. Both championships are on the line, and it's between Ronda Rousey, the champion for Raw side, Charlotte Flair. Champion from SmackDown side and Becky Lynch. No championship, but still, all three women. It's gonna be the main event, the last match on the card. That's a very big deal, and big ups to the women of the division because honestly, this to me, it's a big step, and I really hope to see a great performance for all three of them, like the chemistry in general and just how well they work together and and pick their spots of what they're going to be doing um because you know we we had an era that i'm not necessarily complaining about too much where we came from a freaking bra and panties match uh yeah so you know the the women divi the women's division are are actually really tr being treated more as equals instead of just like that you know i mean everybody come on eye candy here eye candy is good no but but these are athletes at the end of the day these are all athletes that should be treated as such so that this is to me a very important um 
WrestleMania for, for for them and for a lot and just in general for WWE as well. It's pretty historic right there. Um, that's the main event though. The last match. I don't care too much about the Universal Championship until Brock Lesnar doesn't have the belt anymore. Then I'll start caring because I really hate that guy. I hate the fact that he has the belt. I hate the fact that he's held the belt and doesn't really know show unless it's like, yeah, the major, the four major pay-per-views. But still, I the the championship was introduced on Raw and to to counteract the the WWE championship, the what I consider the real championship too. Um, on, that's on SmackDown side. That's actually been defended on the show itself. I don't know if it's any importance or what by not defending it as often, but to, but you know, if you're not going to defend it that often, you should allow the person because we already know this is all scripted anyways. You should allow the person that's really having so much um, popularity that's going to be the person that really represents the company to also have the the belt as well. Not somebody that's a part timer that doesn't do jack shit. To be honest, and that's the truth. That's Brock Lesnar. He doesn't do anything. So I'm hoping Seth Rollins wins this one for WrestleMania and in, in WrestleMania. But I'm not gonna have my hopes up in that one all again because it's a Brock Lesnar match, and I already know how this is and how Vince is basically kissing his ass. So whatever. The other match, the the actual. Men's championship match, in my opinion, WWE won the most important one right there, WWE championship. Daniel Bryan, the champion, versus Kofi Kingston. This is a long time coming, considering the fact that the last time he had a match was against Randy Orton for the championship belt. I don't think it was WrestleMania, but it's just like, you know, he came pretty damn close, but I, I felt like it was more like, okay, well, it was kind of a transitional thing. Or not even transitional. Um, how do you say? They just had to go and have somebody to make Gordon look good, I guess, at that time. And because I, I don't know, I just felt like they'd done him dirty that way. They, they, they should have. I felt like Kofi should have got the championship belt back then. So I'm hoping this time around WWE recognizes how hard of a worker Kofi is, and how entertaining he is as well. And the fans, how much he has backing from the fans, the popularity, to, yeah, you know, give him this the championship on the biggest stage, because it's it's it'd be like a kind of like what would be considered? It'd be like a crowning achievement, pretty much. It's like a life work right there. Like the, the, you worked your way to get this point, and you and you did it. You made it. That's a big deal. Um. Let me see. The other matches. What other matches do we have here for WrestleMania? Uh, okay, yeah. There's Roman Reigns versus... Um, I shouldn't laugh. That's not nice. Um, it's, I'm laughing more about the match itself because, honestly, there I don't see it as a, a significant match. It's a significant match in the sense... It's um, significant in the sense that I'm glad Roman's back. That he that he was able to fight leukemia and get and and basically be able to uh, be allowed to do what he wants to do, but just to be thrown in this match against Drew McIntyre, and this is a guy that I, I feel Drew's getting the same almost the same type of treatment as Braun Strowman has got been get was getting before when he was getting these opportunities against Brock. But and he's been being shown like some sort of like unstoppable force and like oh my god like. Well, we can't mess with this guy. No. Then when he goes against Brock Lesnar or has a, a chance to get the championship, well, we'll just take it away, make him look stupid. And that's it, basically. I feel that Drew is just kind of getting all this, like, hype, hype, hype. He's a badass. I'm going to take these guys out. I'm going to do this. And nobody can stop me, and I dare you to. Because if you try to, I'm still going to take you out. I don't know that... Him versus Roman is the best idea because I don't know how they the way Roman's sometimes treated with WWE as of late. I don't think they respect him that well. And the same time with Drew, I feel that he might be overlooked big time. I feel like he might be overlooked. So that's another thing. This match, 
I'm not really that uh, like uh, psyched about it. Almost the same thing as the next one, which is AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. That one, we've seen that AJ versus Randy Orton when AJ was a he it was a heel, and Randy. I forgot if he was a face or a heel at the time too. I'm not really sure. I just know that Randy won against AJ the same way that that it likely ended up happening again. One RKO pinfall. It's over after trying to do a phenomenal forearm. Do, do, do. That's it. <clears throat> and I would, I hope they both do a great job on in the match. I really do, but it's not a match that I'm actually into, like excited for. As much as I'm, I'm a AJ Styles fan, and I am. I'm actually, I, I cosplayed him before um, at um, Anime Expo. <laughs> I think I consider myself an AJ Styles fan even before um, WWE when he was in T when he was in TNA, you know. So I didn't really follow him that much in the Japan circuit though. I should have try to look at the videos after more. But yeah, those like I said, Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre, AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. Those two matches I don't really care too much about, and if anything, they should probably be more early on um, during for WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. Middle middle ground maybe, but even so, I consider um, title matches um, like, for example, Intercontinental Championship. That one more middle middle um, card stuff, and the ones that are more anticipated and more of the higher up, so you have a better momentum. But then again, I'm not the Booker, so I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I guess water my throat's hurting a little bit. Ah, uh, this match I'm actually looking forward to, surprisingly, is Triple H versus Batista No Holds Barred, with Triple H's career on the line. <clears throat> um, wrestling career, actually. I don't think it's his career as far as him being, the like, kind of the boss of the company. But him as a wrestler, I think that's what they mean by it. Which is, you know what, then it makes me think, okay, you know what, this is basically a retirement match. This is a retirement match for either Triple H or Batista. Either one works, so that was good. This is, and the fact that it's no holds barred, I'm hoping they both, especially Batista since he's Hollywood now, so I'm hoping that they go all out and beat the living, sh living hell out of each other because that is going to be entertaining just like back in the days when they did used to do that. So these two, and they know how to work with each other, so I'm sure that, like, um, as far as this match uh, the entertainment value is going to be pretty damn good so i'm looking for that um intercontinental championship bobby lashley versus now oh wait bobby lashley the champion versus now the demon finn balor not just finn balor but the demon his alter ego which seemed like there's always there seems to be slight differences differences as far as styles go um and how their um intensity is demon's a little bit more like he does a little bit more reckless stuff and more intense stuff than the Finn Balor himself. So his alter ego should make for a, another very interesting, very exciting, um, like surprising, surprising moments for him, I'm pretty sure. And then you got the United States Championship. Samoa Joe's champion versus Rey Mysterio. <clears throat> Samoa, I'm a Samoa Joe fan. I've been a Samoa Joe fan since TNA as well, and um, I got, in, I got, I'm, I took a picture with him for a freaking um, selfie when I ran into E3 before. Come on, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big Samoa Joe fan, so I, I mean, I like Ray. He, but you know, I just don't see him winning this. Even though I'm, pr I even though I think they might end up giving him because I don't think has he had the universe the 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 United States Championship. I don't think so. It might, might be possible, especially because his son's gonna be there. So I'm not sure. Maybe I personally would want to see um, Joe win this one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with that one. Women's Tag Team Championship. Um, the champions Sasha Banks, Bailey versus Beth Phoenix and Natalia, and then versus Nia Jax and Tamina Snuka, and versus the Iconics. Mm. Oh, I thought... Yeah, this one, I think it's going to be Beth Phoenix and Natalia. 
just because Beth Phoenix was specifically bringing herself back in for this WrestleMania match. And since she's a, I think, yeah, um, Hall of Famer. She's a Hall of Famer. So, yeah, I feel like it's going to be Beth Phoenix and Natalia for this one. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all going to do pretty well. I'm hoping then not to see too many botches, though, because, you know, that does tend to happen. But I don't know. It's 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 going to... It's going to be a good match, I'm sure. It's a straightforward, at least. So, I don't think any big surprises, you know. Um, the Miz versus Shane McMahon, false count anywhere. We already know how Shane is. He's nuts. He, he, when it comes to WrestleMania, he does, cra- he does really crazy-ass sh- stuff um, for WrestleMania, the bigger sh- the, the big shows he tends to. And this probably wouldn't surprise me if he does something and with The Miz. And I'm pretty sure they both know how to work with each other really well. So any spot that they both decide that's out of the, like oh, like holy holy you know what moment, you're more than likely should expect that because it's Shane in there with the Miz, and I'm pretty sure Miz might end up doing some holy, like holy crap moments too. This one don't care. The next one, I mean not the not, no that one the false count is what I care about, but the match. Um, I'm looking at Kurt Angle re- retirement match versus Baron Corbin. <sighs> oh my God! I don't. Uh, Baron Corbin bores the sh- living bejesus out of me. I don't. I don't care for this guy at all. And I really just like. I hope that there's a twist before he comes out, because honestly, Kurt. Regardless of what WWE may want me to believe, I could I believe Baron Corbin's not worthy of being the um, person to retire Kurt Angle at WrestleMania of all places too. Let alone anywhere to retire because Kurt has had retirement matches in TNA and has been by the P- two of the guys that basically beat the crap out of him um, that are on Raw, Bobby Lashley and I believe uh, at the time. Um, Drew Galloway, yeah, it's Drew Galloway back then, but he's McIntyre here, so whatever. But anyways, yeah, I I kind of want to see a swerve hopefully happen. There where Baron Corbin gets taken out, and he's not gonna be the last one. For all we know, Undertaker might be there, or personally, even though I don't think, I may I think they probably would be better bouncing off each other would be John Cena versus Kurt Angle because. It has been shown that Kurt Angle is not really doing the like his best these days. He's not at the performance as he used to be. But it doesn't necessarily mean that he can't if he goes against somebody that's at that same the, the same legendary status as him. Baron Corbin, um, he yeah he's he's still fresh, new blood, and and he has his kinks too where he needs to actually work on stuff his his move set as well. He's not res- he's not a retirement match for Kurt Angle. I'm sorry, he's just not, in my opinion. Then you got the cruiserweight championship, Buddy Murphy, um, champion versus Tony Nese. Don't care. I haven't been watching it. More than likely, they're just gonna let Buddy keep the damn championship anyway. So yeah. Um, not a giant memorial battle royal. Pfft, there's a lot of names here. <laughs> um, I know bringing what bronze in there, and then you got all the people that, that they got the two guys from SNL in there Andrade Apollo Cruz Titus O'Neil Tyler Breeze Jenna Mahal No Way Jose Bobby Roode Chad Gable Lucha House Party which is three guys in there Bo Dallas Curtis Axel Heath, Sla- Heath Slater Rhino Victor Connor uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Mustafa Ali's in there um, Sean Benjamin, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Otis, and Tucker, and EC3. I mean, the favorite I'm sure is going to be Braun. Did he win last year? Let me see. Wait, who won? Did he win? I'm see. I'm like very forgetful with. Did Braun win last year's WrestleMania? Ron Strowman, Andre, Giant Battle Royal. Did he ever win? Uh, 
I gotta know, I, cause I'm like I, I'm forgetful about like last year's WrestleMania. I'm not really exactly sure if he won or not. And this is why you check Wikipedia and find out the history. It's not that it's been around that long. Okay, it has been since 2014. Okay, so damn, thanks Wikipedia. Cesaro, first winner. Big Show, second winner. Baron Corbin, third winner. Mojo Rawley, fourth winner. Matt Hardy, the he's a fifth one. One, one, two, three, four, five, fifth one. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Braun Strowman then. I think he's gonna win this year. I mean, he's been he's been screwed out of the championship um, title so many times, uh, the like this past, last year. Um, I feel like maybe it's time he, he he should actually get some sort of compensation for not getting the damn belt off the Brock Lesnar. For whatever reason, WWE does not want him to have it while Brock is, has a, cha- a championship. So I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna go for Braun Strowman for winning the Battle Royal. And you got uh, the Women's Battle Royal, from what I've seen, the entries is Asuka, Carmella, Naomi, Lana, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Nikki Cross, Dana Brooke, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, Mickey James, and Zelina Vega, and I'm pretty sure it might be more, I'm not sure. I'm going to go with, <laughs> surprisingly enough, I'm going to go with Mandy Rose. Yeah, it's gonna. It's either going to be Mandy Rose or Sonya Deville. So... As the picks for the battle, the women's battle royal. So going back at this again, <clears throat> I gotta go on my my um predictions for WrestleMania before I end this video. Um, the women's championship for both all just all the titles, I think it's gonna be Becky Lynch. I, I it's gonna it feels like it's gonna be her. But if there's gonna be a swerve, there's talks about Ronda like leaving. Or something. Because of some family stuff. But it, let's just say hypothetically speaking. If she's not. And she does keep the championship. It's probably because. They're going to do the four horsemen angle. That's why. Because Baszler and her. And her buddies. Are going to jo- go with Ronda. And they're going to screw over Becky and Charlotte. And have Ronda keep the championship. So they could actually show the whole four horsemen stuff. Horsewomen I mean. Um. Because keep in mind, kind of a pre, it was a prelude when Sh- Sasha lost against Ronda at uh, Royal Rumble, and she did the whole gesture with the four, um, the four fingers up, you know, the f- four horsewomen stuff because of Becky Lynch, Charlotte, um, Bailey, and Sasha, you know. So versus the other four horsewomen too, because at least that's what Ronda likes to think. But I'm sorry, man. You're you're part of a mixed martial arts side, and you think you could be pulling that crap? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. To me, I feel it's somebody within the wrestling business that has made the that's come down from the the from the generation of the daughter of the 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 creator of the force for horsemen should be a should be the person to create the four horsewomen. Not some out, I'm sorry, not some outsider. Okay, and that's what the way I would look at Ronda as an outsider. Um, Universal Championship. It's probably going to be Lesnar again because it's bull crap. That's all. I would like it to be Seth, but it's bull crap. Um, WWE Championship. My heart wants me to believe Kofi. Um, I, I, but WWE has a track record of screw like lately, even at WrestleMania, of screwing over what the fans want. So I'm going to say Kofi, but WWE is probably going to say Daniel Bryan. I say Kofi though, me personally. So, um, Roman Reigns versus Drew, it'll be Roman Reigns more than likely because he's been getting beat up so much from from Drew. They're more than likely kind of gonna do that. But who knows? WWE might screw him over too because again, it's WWE. AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. Um, I'm gonna go with AJ. My personal pick. WWE pick probably probably Randy Orton. So it's like it, it might be. What I'm doing right here is my personal pick versus what WWE might do because it's Vince as well. He's in charge of this. NXT, I, I when it comes to NXT TakeOver, usually the picks are, are solid because these are fan, these are what the fans have been hoping for. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but at least one another thing about NXT that I love about their pay-per-views, 
they really show off the like how like the back and forth so well. All their matches are very solid, regardless uh, like what the match is or who is it. They always pull like great back and forth with the pay per views for NXT. But continuing on, Triple H versus Batista. Pff, I think in my Triple H might actually lose this one because I think he might literally this might be his retirement match. So I think Batista's gonna win it. So. Intercontinental Championship. Um, Demon Finn Balor is likely going to win this. United States Championship. Samoa Joe keep retains. WWE probably wants Ray, Ray to win it though. Like I said earlier, Women's Tag Championship. Um, Beth Phoenix and Natalya. And that one I could probably agree if WWE agrees with this one too. Just because it's Beth Phoenix. That's why. So, Miz versus Shane. Me personally, I would like the Miz to win. I don't see any benefit from Shane winning, but again, we'll see what happens there. The Miz, I feel the Miz is going to win this one. Um, Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. I'm going to say it's going to be Kurt just because he's retiring. I really hope they change Baron. I just get him out of there and and give Kurt a better opponent. We'll see. Cruiserweight Buddy Murphy versus Tony Nese. Buddy Murphy because it's Buddy Murphy. I felt bad for Tony Nese because I guess that's the closest they could do in the Cruiserweight Champion. I honestly don't watch 205, but I'm sorry. But And, and, it's, and then I'm sure the product's really good. I barely watch, and, and a lot of the reason why, um, and I'm probably going to get crap for this if anybody is watching it, it's because of Enzo. I really thought it was better when Enzo was on. Now that he's not, I don't really care for watching it that much at all. I, I'm, I'm just, just how I feel. And Andre the ba um, Giant ba um, Memorial Battle Royal. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. So I have to enunciate. Braun's going to win that. And then Women's Battle Royal will be either Mandy Rose or Sonya Deville. That's my picks. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Adios.